Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name's Benson. What's yours? Do you hear the sweet, trickling sound of an aerator being drained? Um, like once a month, you're supposed to dump bleach in your aerator, and I'll show you what that is. Um, but basically in Florida, because we draw, depending on where you live in Florida, we draw from the natural water table here. Well, that water smells like eggs rotten eggs clean eggs whatever it smells like eggs it's got this sulfur taste the sulfur smell so what we do is we pull it out of the ground pump it into an aerator it sits in the aerator that sulfur gas gets out of it while it aerates and then your pump pumps it into the house so once a month you're supposed to dump a cup of bleach in your aerator to keep algae and stuff from forming and then every so often you have to clean it today is clean it day so got it almost completely drained um so I'm gonna finish getting it drained. I've scrubbed it out as best I can. Um, and then we're gonna go from there, but I'll show it to you. I'm showing my setup. So this is the aerator, and you kind of see like that's got algae on it. So bleach and stuff will help with that, but that sticks out of the water and it just gets sprayed by these, so it's hard. So you gotta remember to keep it clean. That's you know about a month. But you can see where I've drained it completely. There's a little bit of algae on the bottom here. I'm gonna scrub that, make sure it gets out with the flow, and then this bad boy will fill it up. And basically what happens is that pulls from a in ground underground in ground uh, deep well that's about 400 feet that way and then that feeds it to the pump which feeds it to the house but I'm gonna finish getting this cleaned and then we'll uh, fill it back up and I'll show it to you as it fills back up all right so she's all cleaned out now we're gonna close the outside port here and then we'll fill it back up and I think I've explained it before basically I have it set up this pulls from the underground this feeds the pump which feeds the house and then that's a shut off so if i need to i can turn that on and turn both of these off and i'll get water straight from the house if for some reason the pump's bad if the pump like doesn't want to pump or something happens with the pump this will just force feed me sulfur water basically which isn't bad it just has a smell and a taste you can't really drink like tea or anything but as long as it's working this stays on this stays on that stays off and then it feeds from here up into here and into here and basically the water comes out here and what this does is it's got a lever arm on it and as long as that lever arm is down this stays open so it puts water in here once this floats up to where I have it set it closes that lever arm which shuts that water off and unless the water drops below that level this drops below that level this keeps it keeps water from coming in so the pump knows when and you know the aerator has enough water at all times but i'm going to turn this on i'm going to show you inside the pump versus that being turned on because it's kind of cooler when the spray starts so And Ellie's like, I hear water, Dad. Where's the water? Because she's a freak and loves water. Not a freak, but that loves water. But she's like, she's like, water, 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 water. I mean, you've seen me, you know. You've seen me show a video of her chasing the water and stuff. You can kind of see the mist. You see it, right? I don't know if it's coming up on camera. You see the mist? It just missed all the way out here. There's a lid for it, but that's part of the reason we come out monthly and add a cup of bleach and stir it up. It's because it doesn't get a lot of sunlight. So the sun can't really help keep the water at a certain temperature and stuff and so the algae grows in the darkness so the bleach helps kill the algae and any bacteria that forms and then the lid keeps like leaves and sticks and dirt out of it but back to the spray see the rainbow So that's done. It's clean. Filling back up. We took Allie to the doctor today because I don't know if I said. I know we said she had a rough first day, but the first day and the second day, we're pretty sure she had panic attacks. Sorry, it's a little warm out there. Um, so we took her to the doctor to talk to them and see what they thought was a good idea. So they said they, they said they think she's okay because she hasn't had any issues since then, and it's only ever happened those two times. But we'll keep an eye on her, and if she decides she wants to go talk to somebody, we'll take her to talk to somebody. And then yesterday she had an issue with a girl picking on her, like bullying her basically. We called her a boy and called her gay and stuff. I tweeted out about it and we got some good responses. And to anybody that responded to those, to that tweet, 
she said thank you. Um, it really helped out. It was it meant a lot to her. So, but yeah, because of that, and I had to get that done. We had Taco Bell for dinner tonight. Nothing fancy. Nothing quick, easy, cheap. I'd show you what I had, but basically I just took the contents of a couple tacos, or not a taco, a crunch wrap supreme and scraped it off of the bread and off all the carbs basically and into a bowl so it's just a bowl of meat cheese and lettuce and taco sauce um nothing on the plan for tonight that i'm aware of um because yeah today was a short day at work because we had to I let, we left work came and got the kids and took them to the doctor and then tomorrow is work and friday's work and then saturday sunday and then monday's work and then tuesday's work and then wednesday i'm going to walt disney world <laughs> Um, Christian and the kids are going to come down that Saturday, and we're going to go visit Galaxy's Edge. I'm so pumped, so excited for it. But, um, yeah, f Thursday and f Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll be down there with my friend Steve from the Day of Steve uh, and Kitty from Travel World New World Travel Monkeys. Uh, and we're going to go opening day to Galaxy's Edge, and then I'm going to take the kids back on Sunday morning during extra magic hours, because um, we're staying at the B Resort and Spa. First time in a first time since our very first trip together to Walt Disney World, we're staying on a Disney hotel. It's not a Disney hotel, it's a Disney friend hotel or whatever, so we get those extra magic hours, but I'm actually staying with Steve and Kitty at All-Star Sport. I'm so sorry, I spit everywhere. I'm actually staying with Steve and Kitty at All-Star Sports um, for two of those days, but anyways, I'm gonna go make sure the dog's been fed, get the other dog watered, and then chill out, because I am like sweating up a storm from standing out there in that heat. It wasn't hot, I didn't feel hot, but I sweat still. It's the thing with the surgery, like I don't get hot. Like even in the same thing, like 98 degree weather, I don't feel hot, I feel warm, but I still sweat like the crazy. So anyway, so I'm gonna go sit in front of a fan just to make the sweat stop, I don't know. It's weird, it's weird to explain that. Like I'm not hot, I'm just sweating. I don't like that. But anyways, yeah, sorry, bad one. <laughs>